Well, 15 minutes ago, the sun was shining here and it was gonna be a beautiful day. Now we got thunder rolling, dark skies, and there's a red line coming towards us on radar. <laughs> Which is good as long as it's not too severe because we really need the rain once again. It's been three to four weeks, probably four weeks since we've had rain. So the corn is done. Uh, it's not going to really do anything for the crops at this point. It, it would just be good to get. Morning, cat dog. But first, I get to go have a, a filling installed in my top right. There was an old one there that disappeared, so I'm going to go hire that done. I am going to use aftermarket parts on it though, so we should save a little bit there. Didge, you enjoy chasing the thunder while I'm gone, all right? All right, have fun. There is some nasty lightning in there every once in a while, so hopefully it's just a good shot of rain, nothing more. Here we go. There are only two things in this world I can't stand. People who are intolerant of other people's professions and the dentist. The good news is I'm done already. That only took about 15, you can't even see me. Come on, camera. We'll go this direction. They didn't even have to numb me or anything. The bad news is it only rained for about five minutes and it looks like it's gonna clear up again. What do you do? Not even enough to create any puddles. The projects on my list for today, which change, it's very fluid. My list is always very fluid, but I'd like to get the oil changed in the combine. I'd like to get everything greased, the tires checked, the cabs clean. We did have Midwest Machinery go through this thing and check it out for us, so mechanically, everything should be pretty good. And then tomorrow, actually, Mae West is coming out to work on that header and finish some stuff off with me. I would also like to get this truck cleaned up and hooked up to the new Timpty trailer we've got sitting over on the other side of the yard so that this rig can be all ready to go. This truck has been serviced. We need to service that truck there. Go drop that trailer off and pick up a new one, get that one back so that that rig's ready to go and then work on some grain card stuff. Odds are that's not how my day will go, but that's what I wrote down on my list to try to get finished today. And I do have Jim coming out to help me with that, so we'll see how far we can get. And there is still some thunder in the area, so the dogs are still pretty wound up here because they can hear it in the distance. Isn't that right, Didge? Yes, Anna, yes. It's like Didge's natural instinct is to try to herd the thunder. And then the German Shepherd just has to chase her everywhere for absolutely no reason. They do this every time there's a storm. Morning, Zach. Morning, Jim. It isn't like there's a million grease certs on this machine, but some of them are really difficult to find, and I gotta remind myself every year of exactly where they're at. We need to change fuel and oil filters on this thing, so I was gonna check and see what the numbers are, but of course they're all on the back side. So I'm gonna get a wrench and spin them halfway off, I guess. Well, holy buckets. It is raining out again. I hope it does this off and on all day long. All right, there's my numbers. I lied. We have none of those filters on hand. I'm gonna drop the oil on it anyway and then just start greasing things until I gotta run later because I'm sure they have filters on hand. Somewhere in here, there's a valve that goes a direction. There we go, it moved. Oh, so did the camera. Anyway, I opened a valve, so there should be oil starting to come down over here. There we go.
This one got a little bit full. Okay, time to get these filters off and make a mess. They're loose. I'm just gonna make a mess instead of punching a hole in this one. That one's draining out the bottom. Let this one drain out the top for a minute. Hey, I'm busy up here right now. Just go, go somewhere else. I'm busy, my hands are oily. Oh, now it's giving me an error. I needed to keep track. Error six. There we go. Well, I wrestled the three new filters on there. Jim and I cleaned the strainer down below. Jim's got the two trucks vacuumed out and the combine. And he got the new LED headlights in that truck sitting up there. And she's full. Well, Jim left me for the day. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon now. See, I, I played a camera trick on you guys. You didn't even know that I took off and went to the dealership and got those new filters and even swung into the chiropractor so he could kind of snap and crackle pop some stuff in my neck to make everything fit together above my shoulders again. What do you think, Hound? What do you think? Whoa, Schwann's guy's here. I better catch him. We don't want to run out of ice cream. Even Anna's excited. Ooh, that was close. Caught him just in time. And the dogs got to enjoy their ride all the way from the house back to the shop. There's about... 20 more grease certs on this thing. I'll see how many of them I can find. They have a map right here. That doesn't mean it's always easy to find them. Okay, this thing is all greased up. I've got Mae West coming tomorrow to work on the header with me. I'm gonna go find the 7000 series globe, the RTK globe that goes on this to keep track of uh, Everything, where the machine is at. I think it's over here on the 8320. And if you look over there, you'll see Aaron from the Between the Rows YouTube channel. He, he came out to uh, clean up the 6X. We got a couple big races for us coming up this weekend. So he's gonna shine that thing up and we'll head up there and run those races. If you guys are interested in watching those, of course you can check out the second channel called Between the Rows. As long as our local streaming service works with us, which has been quite a struggle, we should have those posted over on that channel. Now I have really high hopes that there's a 7000 series globe on this tractor. No. Okay, so, so where did we put that really expensive piece of equipment? Oh, there you are. We're pretty clearly done with the sprayer for the year, so I'm gonna move this over onto the combine. Nope. Gotta go this way, I've made that mistake before. Hmm. Yeah, I like that better. Well, the combine is just about ready to go. It's almost five o'clock now, I've gotta run. We have our local uh, corn and soybean growers association plot days today, which means we're gonna go to the plot and take a tour of all the different hybrids of corn and soybeans that are there. Eat some uh, pulled pork sandwiches and I don't know, have a, have a, a nice, little, nice little gathering, a meeting of farmers. So in other words, thanks for watching. See you bye.